tree trouble in the burbs. Recently, we brought you a story about the gum tree that took out a resident's fence. It prompted a flood of emails from you, like Ted and Rosemary's. The couple say they repeatedly complained to their council, but nothing was done. So guess what happened? We heard the roar. It was like an express train coming. We couldn't get out. We were trapped in the house. It was scary. Driving through leafy Ballantyne Street in Melbourne's Burwood East, you might think, what a spot to live. But pensioners Rosemary and Ted McCormack, who've lived here for 52 years, tell a different story. The ultimate fear was the tree coming down, we're getting, you know, like personally, injury to us. This tree that once loomed large over their home from beside the footpath was an accident waiting to happen. And they warned White House City Council countless times. So you believe this tree could have killed someone? Oh, definitely, yeah. We did say to council, look, this will fall in our house one day. Lo and behold, in December last year, wild weather tore the tree down. It split in half, crushing Rosemary's 2013 Hyundai. My little car, I loved it, and it was brand new. The tree obviously was on the nature strip. The tree's split in two. Half of it's ended up on the house. The other half's ended up on the top of Mum and Dad's car. So, Maddie, you've been effectively leading the charge for your parents, yes, right? Yes. And where are things at? Uh, nowhere, really. We haven't got anywhere in 12 months. Daughter Amanda is fighting council for compensation. Amy Insurance paid the couple out for the car, but Amanda wants them to cover the outstanding amount her parents forked out for a replacement, as well as the $1,000 home insurance excess. They're probably out of pocket $12,000 by the time they've had to pay their excesses on their insurance. They've had to buy another car. Their pensioners, they live week to week on their pension. In 2012, Rosemary emailed council, this tree keeps dropping branches and the roots are cracking and lift our driveway. Another mum in the street told council she was most concerned about the amount of wood and sticks which flew off this gum tree, denting my car and also hitting my two young children. And another complaint from Rosemary and Ted described small twigs and branches falling off the tree and hitting windows, some with great force. Could we please have this tree removed. There'd be about half a dozen emails and after that I started ringing them because they just weren't, we weren't getting anywhere. They were aware of it, they did nothing about it. The couple's compensation claim was knocked back, a letter saying when council last inspected the subject tree, it was assessed as being in good health and displayed no signs of imminent failure. That tree cannot be healthy if it's splitting down the centre in two. It's as though, yes, fine, we'll take your rates, but we're not doing anything for you. A couple of weeks after that night of wild weather, Rosemary and Ted say they got this in their letterbox. A notice from council saying it was planning to come and prune their problematic tree. On the back it says Whitehorse City Council is responsible for the management and pruning of trees and that any dead, dying or hazardous trees will be removed as part of the works. Hmm. A little late, Council. Amanda says Council had trimmed a few dead branches once or twice a year. Because there was power lines, they just kept cutting the tree into more and more of a Y shape. So what do you think happened? As soon as that came down, it split through the middle. So do you think the council actually made it worse, they creating it worse that shape? It yes. Council aren't liable just because the tree fell, but they might be liable if they've done something that contributed to the tree falling. Lawyer Justin Lawrence from Henderson and Ball. If they agree with residents A and B and pay them out, they know that all of the other residents are going to come for their, their compensation as well, and council don't want that. I'm annoyed and I'm going to keep fighting it until they get their money. Well, council declined an interview, but did say the tree had been inspected at least seven times since 2012 and on every occasion was found to be healthy.